font best describes us. And I've, I've always felt like I wish that I were a Cooper Black, you know, something 70s and retro, but I feel like I'm a bit more of a wingdings at best, sadly. Um, Roy, he's probably something with some serifs in it, something that's a little bit more legit. And Paul, um, I don't know what, I, I wish I knew more fonts. Um, Ariel. Uh, I like old English, I think, more. Right. Yeah, with serifs, right? Yeah. See? Well, I don't know any fun. <laughs> <laughs> It usually starts with Darren. He creates a, an instrumental electronic style track. And then um, we just keep layering from there until um, we don't like it anymore or it, it just doesn't feel like it's getting better. So it's getting worse. We just go back a few steps. And that's probably when we needed to stop. So yeah, I sing on it, we play on it, we revamp it, maybe we destroy it all. And, pretty laborious process and I think about it. It's nice. Every now and then we get an idea that just kind of happens. Maybe one per record. Mm -hmm. And we're done with it in a day. And that's as good as it'll be. The rest of it is usually a big rabbit trail. Um, your third album was different. You did a lot of experimenting around with more blues type stuff. Do you feel it's important to keep changing? Or do you like sticking with what your fans know who you guys represent? We were just interested in, in what was moving us at that time. And um, yeah, I think um, Odd Soul was certainly an experiment. Um, it was just the three of us. The first record we made as a three piece and um, we lost our guitar player going into it. And um, I think we were just searching for something that moved us and just felt now to us. And, and at that time it was, um, it was about just kind of reinstating uh, what we had discovered about ourselves and, and thinking back to a lot of early musical memories of when we first uh, were jamming with Dad in the garage and he's teaching us a, a Beatles tune or a Jimi Hendrix tune or whatever it was. And uh, we just, we just kind of went that direction. And um, I think Blood Pressure was the first song that came to be that kind of set the pace for the rest of the record. And uh, we just locked down in my house for six months and, came out when they were done. Music is changing all the time. Where do you see your band going and how do you adapt to the Where do we see ourselves going? Well, I, I hope we can make some more records. And, um, you know, with each, with each record at this point, we've done three, and you're always just trying to find that, that spark again of why you made the first couple songs that you did and um, hopefully we can keep finding that spark every time um, so we can keep making music. I really enjoy the music that we make together so um, as long as it can get better and we stay uh, interested in what we're doing, um, I'll be happy. You guys recently did the Honda Civic tour. How was it touring with Lincoln Park and Incubus? It was great. It was really good guys. It was really sweet guys. We went camping with them, <laughs> you know, and they invited, they were just very open and Lincoln Park was really great too. They, you know, just uh, so busy, like they're, they're at such a, another level of things that it's really interesting to watch, uh, uh, you know, from our low man on the totem pole kind of status on that tour, you know, they, it's it, just interesting to watch what happens, I guess, when you get that big, you know. But um, great guys, all family guys, too. And, uh, it's, it's interesting to be yeah. What do you guys want people to take away from your music, from your shows? What do you want them to do? I think the goal, the goal always is just entertainment. So we want people to come and have a social experience that's fun. And that's, that's as high as we aim. You know, we want to be a great band, great entertainers. And um, yeah, so smiling, dancing, occasional people making out in the corner tends to happen too, and that's fine. Happened last night. 
a little awkward, but we'll take that too. I said, Daddy, don't belong. I'm an owl.